Hello guys, welcome to Shaxel Tutorial. In this video, we're going to look at the ISO 45001 gap analysis tool. So as the name connotes, there's a unique tool for identifying gaps in the current occupational alternative management system against the ISO 45001 standard. So this is a very important tool if you're looking to certify your management system against it. In accordance with the ISO standard, it's very important that you identify the gaps and bridge those gaps to you know match up to the standard all right so just take note that this is slightly different from our auditing tool or the iso 45001 auditing tool the auditing tool precisely elicits you know it's basically to assess if the extent of compliance with the standard and as a result it elicits you know responses such as compliance major and minor non-conformance and opportunity for improvement. However, when it comes to the GAB analysis, the response that it elicits is actually yes and no responses to indicate the presence or absence of a requirement of the standard. All right, so without wasting time, let's get straight into the features. So like most of our tools, we have a table of content where users can use to navigate within the workbook and it's part of the ergonomic features of the tool. We also have the approval list where users can set the parameters for the template or which they are going to be using within the within the template. In this case, we have a set of root courses which you know users can actually build on. And we have the action priority, which is high, medium, and low, and action status, which are open and closed. Now we have the scoring criteria, which is simply yes and no scores, and that's as as per the initial explanation is to represent the absence or presence of a requirement of the standard so this has been defined right here which is yes if you say yes then we are talking about the fact that the clause requirement has been implemented or can be verified by an available documented information or, a, or an established process and then if there's a no response that clearly means there's a lack or or the requirement of the clause has not been implemented there's no verifiable documented information or established process. All right. Now we have the main GAP analysis checklist and that is based on all the standard clauses and the subclauses and a set of questions and the responses that they elicit, which is yes and no. And as you provide those responses, automatically the, the level of implementation will be estimated for you. Now, after you have provided all these responses, they get summarized here on the GAP analysis summary, which is, which is a very, very important sheet for actually generating subsequent reports but this section is 100% um, automated so you have no business here and there's just to give you a summary of the findings from the gap analysis all right now given that you'll be providing responses any no response that you provide would automatically be transferred onto the implementation plan where you have the reference number the you know the gap analysis question the main clause sub clause and then the response the no response and then you have to select the root cause from the drop down list and the provider action that is needed who is responsible the target dates the days due and the priority which you can set as 
high, medium, and low. All right. And then we have the action status, which is open and close. Now, based on the responses or the status of status of action over here, you're gonna have a unique report for that, which I'll be showing you in a bit. Now, take note: the next is the dashboard. Now, this dashboard is one of the best dashboard you ever find when it comes to gap analysis. As you can see, there's a we're looking at the gaps in terms of percentage and you look at the level of implementation of this of the standard requirement for ISO 45001 and then again we have the various scores and gaps in this um, bar chart and we have the levels of implementation for all these clauses of the standard all right so and um, this is very insightful and it's actually you know gives a lot more um, perspective about the level of gaps that exists in the management system or the level of um, implementation that has gone into you know the management system so far all right now these are individual reports that are used for the dashboard so which you can utilize to send us individual reports all right so these are all interesting stuff that you can utilize for individual reports and all right so without um, wasting time let's look at how to use this template just think that it's very, very important as a first step is to just make sure that these parameters are adequate you can actually keep building on it the list of root cause you can actually keep building on it but then it's as simple as just you know getting rid of all these responses and entering your own responses based on the you know the the assessment that you do um, on the management system all right now once you have provided all those responses they get transferred here and upon you know you go to the data tab and refresh all you notice you know the entire dashboard will update basically all right so that's all for now guys and thank you all for attention and meet you again soon in another video bye for now